Hey guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you a complete tutorial on the MG iSmart system. The first part of this video, I'll show you how to connect your MG iSmart system binding the vehicle. Second part of this video, I'll also show you how to use most of the functions. If you would like to check more about the MG3 tutorial, you can use the link in the description to check the playlist. As always, if you find this video helpful, the best way to support the channel is to subscribe and like. Let's get started. Alright, first step, you want to find this MG iSmart app on your App Store. So in New Zealand and Australia, this is the name you want to use, MG iSmart AU and NZ. Now, this is what the app looks like once you open it up. Click the bar on the top, you have to register account first. When you register, make sure you use the email address, get the code, create your password, then click register. Once it's done register, you want to log in. Once you have registered the vehicle, you want to click MG or click swipe, whatever, just click one of the functions. It says vehicle management. We can add a vehicle. Click add vehicle. This is where you want to scan the QR code. Now, if we go back to the screen, we want to swipe the screen left. We want to find bind vehicle. Click bind vehicle. You can see the first option, bind the vehicle. Click bind the vehicle. Now the QR code pops up. This is where you want to use your phone now. So scan the QR code for us. Just like that. After scanning, you want to create your security code within two minutes. These are four digits numbers. For this video, I'll just do 1111. But of course, you want to create your own ones so you can remember. Click down. Now this is successful. Now this is all registered. Now you can see the vehicle. We can even see the blue color as this vehicle is blue color. You can see the vehicle status is normal. So everything's perfect at the moment. Fuel range, you can see the fuel tank. You can see find my car. On the top, this is your notification or message bars. Click command. This is the registered vehicle. Uh, my account has been bonded to multiple vehicles before. So there are different messages. Anyway, whenever you're on the home screen, you can swipe down to refresh. That just means the vehicle will show other informations whenever this is connected or not. Now, this is how to use the central locking system while the vehicle is unlocked or locked. We, ha we can see right now the status is unlocked for this vehicle. If you forgot to lock the vehicle, that's fine. You can actually lock it from distance. So click the central locking, click your security code. There we go. Now the vehicle is locked, just like that. That's success as well on your screen. Now, if you want to preheating and pre-cooling your vehicle, you can use the AC function. You have to make sure your vehicle is locked with no keys inside. Click the AC, tap your code again. There we go. We can even hear the small whiny sound from the vehicle. The air conditioning unit has been switched on. This is a success. So right now, the vehicle has turned on the AC. Now the next feature is called AC blowing. So basically it's just not switching on the full AC. Instead, it just blow sort of air inside the vehicle. So just like in the infotainment system, you get AC or non-AC. The AC blowing means no AC. So if you really want it cool or I guess hot most of the time, AC is what you want to do. While you're away from the vehicle, you can also check find my car. So in case you can't locate your vehicle, you can even do return to the vehicle. So give you guidance on the navigation or give you horn and lights if you like. That's how that works. Other functions, you can click the left bar. You can do remote control, which is what we have just done. Travel, you can actually send any address to your built-in navigation on the higher spec. Uh, geofence, you can set the radius for the vehicle to drive in or drive out. So it will give you a warning if it does go out of this particular radius. MG Touchpoint, you can see the MG dealerships or workshops around you. My profile, you can change a few settings if you wish. So that's the quick guidance for the MG iSmart function for your MG3. All right, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, do not forget to subscribe like. That's the best way to support this channel. As always, I will see you next video. Thank you very much.